Hey everybody, so I am 13 days post-op after having my abdominal hysterectomy and my tummy tuck. Um, and I would believe it's considered extended tummy tuck. It wasn't a mini. Um, I'm cut from hip to hip. So I went to my doctor appointment today to get my other drain taken out. They looked at my numbers and they said I was still having a lot of fluid. So, and they said even with that in, considering I wasn't on antibiotics, um, they were kind of sketchy about it. So, the doctor had to make the decision whether he was going to take out my um, other drain or not. So, he ended up deciding to take the drain out, even though I'm still outputting like almost 40 cc's a day out of that drain. Um, and you could tell they were making a thing about it. Like, they weren't sure if they should do it or not. Because, sorry, my kids keep running up here. So, um, they did pull the drain out, my left drain. It was the last drain I had. They pulled it out. Um, and she's like, well, are you doing a lot of activity? And I was like, yeah, I've been running to the stores, getting stuff for Easter. Um, doing a lot of walking. I wouldn't say actual activity activity. I wasn't, like, actually doing things. I was do walking everywhere, going everywhere. Like, spending a day out, going to Walmart and Target. Probably too much, I guess. I was doing too much. And, um, she said I could walk, but I still can't really do anything else. They give me the okay to do cardio, but I can't do anything else. Um... They also told me I could stop putting gauze and doing wound care. Um, they said it looked like it was healing pretty good. So, unless I have an opening or like a raw area or something, I don't need gauze. So, she took it off. I got a new binder because my old binder ripped. Um, and the binder I got off Amazon was like too small. So, they gave me a Morena binder, which is, and it's a two panel. So, I have like these two that Velcro in the front. I love it. I was like, yay, got a new binder. And so more, it's easier to put on, so much more comfortable to be used into. Um, and what else? So I kind of got like scolded for doing too much. Another thing, which I didn't know, because I guess they didn't really tell me a lot. Um, the blue stitches in my belly button were supposed to come out my last appointment and they didn't. So, the nurse I saw today, she goes, um, yeah, I need to take the stitches out. So, she took the stitches out. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel tugging. I didn't feel pushing. I didn't feel any of it. I just looked off and let her do her thing. She kept saying, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. So, she took out all of my belly button stitches. So, those are out now. Um, and it's pretty much it. I have been scolded, which means I have to rest more. Um, I felt like walking more would have been beneficial. They said I could still do cardio and I can sweat on my incision now, which before I couldn't do. Um, but they're really concerned about the swelling because I'm swelling a lot. So, more rest in my future. And it sucks because Easter's next weekend. My dad's going to surprise my kids and come out here and visit. And my grandma and my cousins and my stepmom. And it really sucks because I had so many things planned. And now I'm going to have to kind of change my plans just a little bit. But it is what it is. I'm sure they'd understand. Um, I'm probably going to be out of work longer, which I'm not too happy about. Because, uh, you know, I want to get back to work. But I also know my health is more important because I need my health to be at 100% before I go back to work. Or at least 98, 97%. So I'm not out of work even longer if I damage myself. My wound bust open, something crazy. Um, I have a very physical job. I build motors. Um, I work at a Toyota plant. And I build um, four-cylinder motors. So, you know, like rotating the engine, picking up parts, boxes, whatever. Could be very dangerous if I go to work early. Because it can cause my wound and my stomach to not heal, to adhere to, to itself. And it could also uh, cause my wound to bust open. Um, and I have, like, internal stitches from the hysterectomy. So, I mean, it could just be, like, a whole ordeal. So, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I do notice when I do too much, my body tells me I start getting shaky. So, that's when I'm like, okay, whoa, you know, I need to sit down. I need to take a break. I need to stop for the day. That's just what I, I do go off of what my body tells me. 
Um, so I have been in bed more today, uh, trying to keep myself busy. I've been playing Bioshock. I've been, um, thinking of doing art ideas, painting. I've been crocheting, working on a blanket I've been working on. And, you know, just trying to, like, remind myself that I prepared for this. I knew what I was getting myself into, so I need to, like, chill it out. I'm not taking Tylenol much. I maybe take it once every other day. I don't like to take pain pills if I don't have to. Um, so I've been taking about a thousand, no, yeah, a thousand milligrams a day of Tylenol every other day, whatever, whenever I need it, but it's not often. Um, I still have been showering by myself. Um, the biggest part that I needed help with at the time, like yesterday, was getting my binder on. But my binder was really small, so it was hard for me to do. Now I got this one, I could probably do that myself. Um, and then I keep telling myself to remember to ask for help. So if the swelling doesn't go down and I go back to the doctor and I, my belly's still really swollen like they saw today, they will be taking a needle to my stomach to pull the fluid out. I really don't want them to do that. Um, that's why I was kind of freakish about them taking the drain out. But they don't want to keep the drain in either because that could cause issues too. Having a drain in too long. They're like, look, you're at two weeks. They should be out by now. So I was thinking in my head I was doing good. And here I am swelling too much. Which I've seen so many times on my Facebook group. That swelling is a big problem. Um, with a lot of women. And it's just, it freaks me out. I've also been drinking, taking my bromelain, just to be safe, and drinking way more water, um, walking but lightly around the house, and resting more. So, that's pretty much my routine at the moment. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing else has really changed. Um, and this morning I did wake up and I was so swollen, it hurt. It just felt like I was too tight for my own skin. It's a very uncomfortable, um, very painful. And I knew I've heard so much about the swelling, but when you actually have a really bad swelling, I mean, it, it hurts. Um, another thing is I've been having some pain up in my abdomen, I guess from where they like stitched me back together and it's just random pain. Um, it doesn't last, so I try to just, I just, once again, <laughs> I'm trying to take it easier so I don't have these issues. But overall, my wound is looking great. It's healing and looking awesome. I can post pictures. Um, where the drains came out is looking good. And this drain that they took out today did not feel good. It actually burned, where the other one didn't bother me. Um, but yeah, so that's an update. I will see if I can post a picture from my before and after, um, and some recent pictures that I've taken of my belly button and of my wound and everything else, my incision, and that's pretty much the update. So I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'm hoping I can help you guys with my journey if you guys are deciding to do this. I still don't regret it. I don't regret it right now. Um, my belly is flat, even though I'm swollen. Um, and my man's, man's area, whatever they call it, right above, you know, where your woman parts are, that is, like, really flat. It's a lot different, too. Um, and I'm starting to get sensation back in my belly in certain spots. So, it's like, I'll be numb here, feel here, numb here, feel here. So, it is coming back. Um, but, yeah. So, compression, compression, water, water, rest. And I'm only two weeks post-op, so I know I got a ways. But for the next, like, four weeks, they want me to be doing this. Um, and I will update you guys and let you guys know what else happens. Bye.